So our first case is a 38-year-old female portrait painter who's developed pain, swelling and stiffness in the hands and feet for several months. She's also developed a swollen right wrist and lumps on the ulnar aspect of her right index finger distal interphalangeal joint and the radial aspect of her left little finger proximal interphalangeal joint. We're using ultrasound to look for an inflammatory arthropathy and what we've done with the machine is look to see whether the new six, uh, L624 probe is giving us superior resolution of synovitis, neovascularization and erosions that we might see in this case. The patient was concerned that the lumps were just soft tissue, but in fact they were joint based. On this image of the distal interphalangeal joint of the right hand of her middle finger with the L818i probe, here we can see the joint and we can see a small fleck of possible calcification within the joint. I then looked with the MVI and you can see vascularity around the joint within the nail bed but also this artifact which shows the brightness at the bony interfaces but no vascularity within the joint itself. Using the L624 probe we can see much more detail within the joint and now this is obvious that there is an erosion within the middle phalanx head and there's a small fleck of calcification that we saw previously that is or was attached to the erosive area. With the colour Doppler using radiant flow there's a small area of vascularity. When we put the microvascular on we can see the blood flowing within the erosion which is very very obvious which is what we would expect to see with an active erosion but we're getting much more detail with this application. This is another area where she had a lump this was the left little proximal interphalangeal joint and here we see synovitis on the L624 probe. We see with the colour Doppler there is no flow within this area but with the MVI application with radiant flow we can see large areas on the edge extending into the synovitis so there is vascularity present. The swelling on the dorsum of her right wrist turned out not to be synovitis but a ganglion that is well shown here and we've measured to outline. So what did this show? Well it showed that the new L624 probe gave us much more detail about the erosive nature of her disease and also showed uh, synovitis with neovascularization on the MBI with radiant flow which we didn't clearly see with the L818i probe.